okay so now let's go ahead and work on our camera manager all right so first of all let's remove these two methods at the top let's add a reference to the input manager because on the input manager we set up our camera inputs right then after this we need a reference to our player transform so public transform let's name this as player transform after this we're gonna create a public transform again and this time it will be the camera pivot all right then create a private vector 3 by the name of camera follow velocity which will be equals to vector 3.0 after this create a header name this as camera movement and rotation in here create a public float by the name of camera follow speed set it to 0 0.1 by default then create another public float by the name of camera look speed which will be equals to 0 0.1 by default then another float which will be camera pivot speed and this will be 0 0.1 as well then a public float by the name of pivot angle and on top of this create another public float by the name of look angle all right then at the end create a public float by the name of minimum pivot angle which will be minus 30 by default and then a public float by the name of maximum pivot angle and this will be 30 so this is all of the variables which we will be needing for our camera controller all right now let's go ahead and create a wake method in which the cursor we will actually lock the cursor all right so cursor dot lock state will be equals to cursor lock mood dot locked and we will make the cursor invisible so cursor dot visible will be equals to false all right then let's set up the player transform so player transform will be equals to find object of type player manager dot transform so this will give us the transform of the player then after this in the update method what we gonna do is as you know that this camera manager script will be attached to a separate game object which is the camera manager game object so we now can't use the dot get component okay we now need to type this find object of type all right and if you don't want to type this then you can manually attach these references but that will be a headache so just do what i am doing all right so in the update i will uh, add the reference to the input manager and to the player movement and there is a reason behind this right which i will be explaining in the upcoming videos all right for now just do what i am doing so when we set up the reference for the input manager now let's set up the reference for player movement as well so find 
object of type player movement all right after this let's create a method in which we will make the camera follow our player so name it as follow target and in here we will create a vector 3 by the name of target position it will be equals to vector 3 dot smooth temp name it as transform dot position then cre uh, create a player actually don't create a player I was seeing my source code so that's why I've said that but you don't have to create anything all right so uh, right here we first of all provide the camera transform and now we will need to provide the player transform position so uh, provide that then in the RAF we will add the camera follow velocity then the camera follow speed and then the transform dot position of the camera will be equals to the target position so this method will basically make the camera follow the player okay so right here what we did is this line vector 3 target position equals 2 vector 3 dot smooth damp this line calculates a new position for the object to move to okay or you can say for the camera object to move to and then vector 3 dot smooth damp function is used to smoothly interpolate between two position over time all right this transform dot position this is the current position of the camera then this player transform dot position is the target position which is the position of the player then this ref camera uh, cam follow velocity this is a reference to a velocity vector okay that is used internally by the smooth damp to ensure smooth motion then this camera follow speed is the approximate time it will take to reach the target okay or you can say that this is the camera follow speed as it is defined by its name already then this transform dot position equals to target position this line updates the position of the camera to the new position calculated by the smooth damp function all right so as I told you, this follow target method fully moves the camera towards the player position. And now, once we are moving the camera to the player, now we also want to add rotation in our camera, okay? Because for now, the camera will be just following the player, and uh, we will not be able to rotate our camera using our mouse, okay? So, for that, we have to create a method now. So we will say void rotate camera. Now inside this rotate camera, first of all, let's declare variable. Uh, the first variable will be a vector three by the name of rotation. The next one will be quartronian by the name of target rotation then let's calculate the horizontal and vertical rotation okay so for that look angle will be equals to look angle plus input manager dot camera input x multiply that by the camera look speed all right then the pivot angle will be equals to pivot angle minus input manager dot camera input y multiply that by the camera pivot speed 
after calculating horizontal and vertical rotation let's restrict the camera angles so that the camera doesn't rotate on 360 in the upward and downward direction and also we don't want the camera to rotate actually we want the camera to rotate 360 from left to right but not from top to down okay so let's restrict that for that we will be restricting the pivot angles so we will be using the mathf.clamp we want to clamp the pivot angle by the minimum pivot angle and maximum pivot angle then let's add horizontal rotation so for adding horizontal rotation we will say rotation equals to vector 3 dot 0 then rotation dot y will be equals to look angle then target rotation will be equals to quadronian dot Schuler pass rotation to it then transform dot rotation will be equals to target rotation after this let's add vertical rotation for that copy this paste it down below now we will say rotation x will be equals to pivot angle then target rotation will be equals to the same line and then instead of this we will type camera pivot dot local rotation equals to target rotation that is all we have to do in this method right now we can move up right here and create a public void by the name of handle all camera movement first of all call the follow target then the rotate camera method after this click on player manager and in the update method right here type camera manager we don't have the reference to the camera manager script so at the top let's create a reference to the camera manager we will name it as camera manager then write down below camera manager will be equals to find object of type camera manager then camera manager dot handle all camera movement that's it right if we select the player movement on the camera manager as you can see we don't have a reference to it and also we are not needing this for now so what I'm gonna do is for now I'm gonna just comment this out okay so make sure that on the camera manager you comment this out we will be needing that reference but not right now okay so now the player transform will be added automatically when the game starts but for the camera pivot we need to drag and drop the camera pivot all right we can leave all the values as it is and play the game as you can see the camera is in the player feet and in the ground so now as you can see the cursor can lock to the screen as well so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the camera pivot okay for that unlock the cursor by pressing the escape button or the window button on your keyboard all right then click on camera pivot and let's change the camera pivot okay let's change the y value of it so move it up right here and we need to move it back so move it back like this okay so i will move it back to just minus two and y will be two and let's move this right here for example 
all right so it will be 0 0.8 and now as you can see the camera is following the player and we can the player can run as well as you can see let's move down as you can see for now the player don't have any gravity so that's why the player is moving in the air but don't worry we will be adding gravity to our player okay but for now as you can see the player can walk around in the environment the player can walk and run and the camera is following the player as well but if you notice the player movement is a little bit shaky as you can see the player is shaking we will be needing to fix this and also before stopping the game unlock the cursor and copy the component okay or you can also remember these values which is 0 0.8 2 minus 2 okay stop the game you can then select the camera right here it was 0 0.8 and this was I think 2 and this was minus 2 all right you can type these values in the camera pivot okay not camera manager camera pivot and once you do that now we need to set up the camera actually not the camera but the player the player is shaking as you saw so for that open up your camera manager and right here we did a mistake in this line instead of camera follow speed we need to type camera look speed okay then camera pivot that's it okay now we can save this again and click on camera manager right here and now make the camera follow speed zero and when you make it zero also make it zero right here as well make it zero and when you make it zero let me tell you what this means this means now the camera will take zero seconds to follow the player or in simple words the camera will be constantly following the player okay let me show you now if we play the game as you can see now the player is running perfectly fine before uh, because the camera is now simply stick to the player okay and for example if you try to increase this to one now the camera will take one second to follow the player as you can see the camera is slowly following the player taking one second as you can see and if you change it to a bigger value it will then take that much time to follow the player so i have simply decided to leave it as zero as it fixed the shaking effect of the player and the player can run and walk perfectly fine as you can see okay so once this is done it means that our third person controller is done but the last thing which we will be adding is gravity okay because as you saw that when we move in the upward direction right here you will notice that the player will be now if we move up as you can see the player is in the air and the player moves down to the ground really slow as you can see so in the next video we will be fixing this issue so see you guys in the next one